Conventionally, pulmonary capillary wedge pressure is measured using a catheter in the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery diastolic pressure measured by a swan gans balloon flotation catheter at bedside is often taken as a surrogate of pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. Ideal method of bedside measurement is balloon occlusion of a pulmonary artery branch to get the distal pressure. But it cannot be done on a continuous basis as it will compromise flow to the territory and vascular complications can ensue. True pulmonary capillary wedge pressure as the name implies is obtained after wedging an end hole catheter with no side holes, typically a Conan catheter during right heart catheterization. Nagyu formula can be used for calculation of PCWP from the Doppler derived mitral E by E prime ratio. PCWP is usually equal to the left atrial pressure and hence the left ventricular filling pressure. E prime has been considered as a preload independent index of left ventricular relaxation. Nagyu formula uses mitral E velocity during early diastolic flow corrected for the influence of left ventricular relaxation that is E by E prime ratio to estimate the mean PCWP. Nagyu formula is PCWP equal to 1.24 into E by E prime plus 1.9. E prime was taken from the lateral mitral annulus in the pioneering study of Nagyu and associates. 60 patients had invasive measurement of PCWP and simultaneous Doppler echocardiography. Comparison of pulmonary arterial diastolic pressure by an implantable device known as CardioMEMS with left atrial pressure measured from transthoracic echocardiography in 17 patients has been reported. Left atrial pressure was assessed by tissue Doppler imaging using Nagyu formula. The study was in patients with congestive heart failure and showed direct linear correlation between pulmonary artery diastolic pressure and simultaneously measured left ventricular filling pressure by echocardiography. They had averaged septal and lateral mitral annular velocities for calculation of PCWP using Nagyu formula. Sugimoto and colleagues studied 165 patients with almost equal number of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. In their study, PCWP had the strongest correlation with E by A ratio in both groups. This was followed by left atrial diameter 